ever wonder how hackers can hide malicious payloads in something as innocent as image then this video is for you today i'm peeling back the layers and show you the techniques behind embedding payloads into images this is not just about hacking it's about understanding how these methods work so you can secure your system and stay one step ahead no this video is for the Krishna people solely the techniques demonstrated are intended to help you understand how cyber threats operate so you can better protect yourself and your system I strongly encourage you to practice the techniques in the control environment such as your, your own labs or with explicit permission. Misusing these techniques to compromise systems, distribute malicious software or perform unauthorized actions are, is illegal and unethical and you might get busted. Let's, now let's dive in and uncover the secret hidden in plain sight. If you use WebRAR for this task, you can download WebRAR from your browser. You go to your browser and search WebRAR, you'll get it. Now I have my payload here, that's the virus.esc. I have my JPEG image here, that's the splash hyphen N. I have my ICO file here, that's my icon. You can go to any JPEG to ICO site and convert your image to ICO. Now I will select both my image, my JPEG image and my payload. I right click on it and choose how to archive. So here I will choose create SFS archive. So SFS archive is a self extracting file. So once the user click on it, something will happen in the background. Now let me change the name to let's say I will name it as a screensaver screensaver.jpg okay screensaver.jpg.esc then I'll go to advanced settings and I'll choose SFS options now let's go to setup run after extraction so this is uh, this here you type the files that you want to run when the user open the image so I want to run my image so my image name is splash hyphen n splash hyphen n dot jpg the next line i want to also run the virus for that the payload so my my payload is virus dot esc now i'll go to most choose hide also that the, the user will not see what's happening in the background choose unpack to temporal folder go to logo and icon then i'll select my ico file so click on browse select the ico file click on open now we are done let's click on ok here then okay here so there we have it our screen saver the jpg file is here you can send this to your victim so once the victim opens it you will get a reverse share let's right click on it copy it and paste it here let me paste it in the new folder so we have our screen saver the jpg file but before we open it let's go to our attacking machine we have to uh, set our hand multi handler so that we will get the reverse share so this is our listener let me type show options show options so you have the necessary option set, you have the payload that's the windows slash interpreter slash reverse underscore tcp here. I have my air host here and my airport. So I'll click on, I'll type run to run my listener. Let's wait for a while, how's our multi handler start? Now let's go back to our attacking uh, victims machine. So we have our screen saver here. Let me see. So our, hand, our handler has started running. Started reverse tcp handler on 172.20.5 is to five five five. So let me open the image screen saver.jp as you can see we have our image here nothing happened the user will not uh, see anything we have our image here nicely open i can close it back then let me go back to my attacking machine open it boom there we have it it's came over now we have our interpreter session here so let's type sys info sys uh, system info sys info here is the system information we have our uh, computer that was win 7 the OS is Windows 7 6.1 build we have the architecture S64 and everything so here you want the machine that you can type everything you want you can type help to see the various command that you can use so you have the time stop hash down we have the screenshot that you can use to screenshot the uh, screen of the victim you have screen record screen share to share the screen and everything so you can use this technique to also embed payload in a uh, P PDF and also you can also check out my other video on how to embed payload in pdf so this is how you can embed payload in pdf simple as that and there you have it within some minutes you should be able to embed your payload into an image and as usual here are some tips that you can use to protect yourself from this attack always avoid downloading images from untrusted sources only download images from reputable websites or sources you trust attackers often disguise malicious images when enticing finding to trick users two Enable file extension visibility. Configure your operating system to display file extensions, example, .jpg.esc instead of just .jpg. 
malicious files may masquerade as images by using double extensions like image.jpg.exe. Third, use advanced malware scanners and at always activate your antivirus to detect malicious images. These are, here are some tips that you can use to protect yourself from this attack. Always educate yourself and others. Stay safe. If you found this valuable, give this video a thumbs up to support the channel. Hit that subscribe button and turn notifications so that you don't miss out on our future tutorials and tips. Got a question or ideas for future videos? Drop them in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Remember, stay curious, stay ethical and most importantly, stay secure. See you in the next video.